Let's start with what they told you. SpaceX launched 49 Starlink satellites into lower orbit for their usual validation phase, and everything went fairly well at first. They successfully inserted the craft into 210 kilometers altitude, and then the problems began. A geomagnetic storm occurred due to interaction with the sun's current sheet, combined with variable density to the plasma stream of the solar wind. 40 of the 49 were lost or are expected to burn up in the upper atmosphere. None of those lost satellites poses any risk. At 210 kilometers, which is 130 miles up, they are in the absolute danger zone for solar storms. Even at their post-validation higher orbit, they aren't entirely out of the upper ionosphere, but at 130 miles, they're at the key energy coupling point for the global effects of a geomagnetic storm. There was a storm earlier on the launch day, and then in the overnight hours after the launch. The solar wind cause can be found in the second row from the top, the solar wind magnetism, where you can see the blue line hold, strongly shift from the bottom to the top, and then hold again. This is a solar wind magnetic reversal. This is not abnormal. In fact, impacts from the solar wind magnetic reversal boundary happens about every week or two. Some impacts are stronger than others, but this is a normal thing, along with the normal solar flares and geomagnetic storms that we get each sunspot cycle. But something's not adding up here, not one bit, and this is what they won't tell you. This is a geomagnetic storm, too in fact, but at their lowest levels. This would be considered an extremely weak space weather event, one Earth endures 100 to 200 times a decade. Bigger storms we've seen once or twice a decade are a thousand times greater than this. Some of those don't take out any satellites at all. In fact, SpaceX has launched in geomagnetic conditions 10 times as disruptive as this. So what happened here? The answer is simple. Earth's magnetic field is weakening. The magnetic poles are shifting and this is a cyclical event that is unfolding again now. As Earth loses the dipole magnetic shape with the shifting poles, the field is weakening overall. Earth is losing its protective interface with energy from space, and every enhancement of the solar wind, every CME impact, and every crossing of the sun's current sheet has an easier route to both directly impact the upper atmosphere and ionosphere, perhaps we recall the particle penetrations are deepening and getting more common, and indirectly excite the global ionosphere through the equatorward traveling waves in the thermosphere that come from the aurora. This is more energy in, more global electric circuit power, stronger electrodynamic activity, and most importantly for SpaceX here, a critical change in the density of the environment. The heating was so extreme, it increased drag coefficients 50%. That is beyond the heating in modern models for solar storms 10 to 100 times bigger, and it's another signal that the Earth's vulnerability is growing as this age of Earth begins sputtering to an end. Its phoenix likely awaits only those who have the eyes to see it coming. Earth's magnetic field is entering excursion. You can learn what that means in our documentary from Christmas Day and in our video on the latest research showing the effects of this weaker field. Both those videos are linked for you below this video in the description box. I will see you in the morning for the daily update. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.